Hello there and welcome back to another episode of the Chelsea Youth Challenge. You join me when we just beaten Wolves in the Capital One third round and um, we are doing well in other competitions as well. Uh, just a quick email they've just sent. We have got Manchester City in the next round of the Capital One Cup. That's going to be a tough, tough game for us but hopefully we can get through in that. Um, other players just saying they want to play but I can't give Drogba time because of he is too old but let's get straight into the first game I kept with a team that uh, beat Wolves in the cup uh, so it's quite a uh, risky team but the likes of oh no Benteke have scored oh Hazard uh, I think that's Thorgan Hazard brings it back but I chose this team because of their um other players are not in form, but Hazard does get the second. Forgot, didn't see that, but that is Thorgan. Come on, up. oh, Eden Hazard with uh, not Eden Hazard, Thorgan Hazard with a hat trick. His brother, it must be fuming. Ben Yedar rounds it off with the 82 minutes goal. A uh, fantastic performance from uh, Thorgan Hazard there after 1 0 um, going down 1 0. So that's a very good victory for us. This is the next game in the Champions League group against Besiktas. Uh, I've made a few changes to the team, brought Oscar back in, but kept Hazard in after that fantastic performance. Ben Yedar came in because he came off the bench and scored, and Laporte and Williams came in because of fitness. Um, so it's a, quite a full-strength side, uh, so hopefully we can get an easy victory here and stay top of the group. They did beat PSG in their recent game, so... It's, there's no way it's going to be an easy game. Nothing really happening in the early minutes, which is good because I'm happy with a draw. I'm always happy with all away draws, all away, uh, all home victories. Nothing really happening. Muriel comes on. Not a very entertaining game. This is. It looks like it's going to end. No, nope. Eden Hazard, 85th minute. Just shows his brother how it's done in the Champions League. Uh, one nil. That still sticks me up. That sticks me top of the group. So hopefully I can get through there, uh, face a better opponent, and win the Champions League, which would be good. Back into the Premier League. It's another big game coming up against Arsenal. I'm going to need to win this game because of uh, I've got Manchester United, Man City snapping at my uh, ankles for that top spot which I do not want to give up easily. So I'm putting out my full strength side, uh, due, other than Laporte, because he did get an injury in the last game. I will check on how long it is for after this game. But let's hope we can get an easy victory here. Hazard and Asante Carzola back-to-back. -back, so it's one all, so nothing real changing. Uh, Schurler, Pogba gets a yellow card. My discipline in my team isn't really the best, but I'm happy with uh, my backup. So if people do get bans, it's not going to be the end of the world. Nothing really happening. All of it sort of happened at the beginning. Is there going to be another late goal? No, there's not. 90th minute, one all. Not the best result. I could have. I was hoping for wins against the likes of Arsenal, Tottenham, and that just to show my dominance in the top four. But it doesn't look like that was going to happen. So hopefully it does it keep me top. And yes it does. Two points ahead of Man City. Manchester United dropped points as well. Which is good. So as long as other people are dropping points. It's that all that matters. Going to quickly check on my squad report. See if anyone's increased or decreased. Um, Arias is gone up by one. Varane has gone up by two. Kirk Zuma's the same. Williams has gone up. Pogba. Maya has gone up. So that everyone seems to be doing better. Like, are gradually getting better, which is good. So it means later on in the season, when I come against harder opponents, I should be able to win them. Uh, let me check also on that injury. Uh, unfortunately, it'll be four weeks for Laporte. That's going to be a big blow for us. We're going to have to put... Kirk and Varane out for all the games for four weeks. So that should be uh, a challenge for me. But hopefully they can step up to the plate. I've been Exility. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, leave it a like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, goodbye.